Welcome to January's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is a vertical order traversal of a binary tree. Given the root of a binary tree, calculate the vertical order traversal. For each node at position x, y, its left and right children will be at positions x minus 1, y minus 1, and x plus 1, y minus 1, respectively. The vertical order traversal of a binary tree is a list of non empty reports, um, so nodes, for each unique x, y, x coordinate from left to right. Each report is a list of all nodes at a given x coordinate. So that's the vertical axis. The report should be primarily sorted by the y coordinate from highest y coordinate to lowest, so from top to bottom. And if any two nodes have the same y coordinate, the node with the same smaller value should appear first. So what that means is if it's at the same x, y coordinate, um, then we want to add the one that's smaller first into our list. If we had a binary tree here, you could imagine overlaying this binary tree on an xy graph and this 315 is going to be on the one of the vertical axes same with the 9 same with 20 and same with 7 so we want to output a list of lists in order from top to bottom with 9 315 20 and 7 uh, same thing here except you can see that 5 and 6 actually share the same xy coordinate so we take the smallest one here, so that's going to be 1, 5, 6 in the middle, right, like that. Okay, so my approach here, I've seen this problem before. Um, what I'm going to do is create a lookup of some sort that's going to have the vertical axis as its key and a list of all the values in order from top to bottom. And I'm going to traverse through our binary tree using a depth first search because that's what I'm most comfortable with. You could do a breadth first search, um, but I'm just gonna go with depth first search here. So what I'll do is create a lookup dictionary. Uh, what I'll do is call it a default dict and make a list as the type. And I'm gonna write a helper function. DFS, what do we wanna pass in? We're gonna pass in the node, but we're gonna also have to keep, in, keep track of the x, y axes. So x, y, we'll pass in those two as well. Uh, the x-axis is going to be the vertical axis, and that's going to be the key inside of our lookup. And we'll pass in the y, and I'll show you why later. But uh, for now, let's just do our typical depth for search. If not node, go ahead and end our recursion. Uh, otherwise, we will add to our lookup at the x value the node.value. After that, we will traverse to the left first. And we will actually subtract one from the x as well as the y. And we'll do the same thing on the right, except we will add to our x-axis. And we'll still subtract from our y-axis like this. Once this is finished, we will have to run it with our root as well as 0, 0 being the very first x-y coordinate. And we can take a look at our lookup and just show you what I mean. So here's what it looks like. And you can see the answer is in, it's not sorted because it's a dictionary, but if we sorted it and start with negative one, we'll have nine, then 315, then 20, then seven. So it looks like this is done. All we need to do is, is sort our dictionary. Uh, but that's not quite the case. And the reason for that is we're doing it that first search. Uh, imagine that we had a binary tree that looked something like, uh, something like this and kind of ended, I don't know, went, went all the way. Just went like all the way forth to right here. Um, but say that we had some other tree that also went this way, uh, but then started turning the other way underneath, like, like just kept on going forward all the way down here. I don't know if I'm making sense. Um, hopefully you can kind of visualize this binary tree. Like if we did a depth first search, we would go down this step first, right? And we'd be adding these numbers. But unfortunately, these actually come first. Uh, with here, I'm not actually keeping track of that at all. So uh, the answer would actually end up being wrong because these would be appended first. So I need to take care of that. Like you could just sort it at the end, um, passing in the y-axis. But what I'm going to do instead is, instead of appending it to our lookup, our, our list, we'll do a heap push. We'll make this into a heap. And it's still going to be a list, but we just need to keep pushing to it. Uh, but what I have to do is pass in a tuple with the y value 
as well as the node.value. And later on, when we pop it off of our heap, this will be in order of the vertical um, vertical order. So uh, that's going to allow us to just take care of that at that point. Uh, what, one thing to note is I actually need to make this a negative because since we're subtracting here, uh, we don't want to we don't want to add from bottom to to the top. We want to add from top to the bottom. So we just make that a negative. Okay. So now we want to do that for search. Now we have our lookup. So let's go through our lookup. And to do that, really, I can just say just sort our dictionary and say for key dot value in sorted. What do we want to do? Well, okay, the K is going to be the vertical axis, right? And the V is going to be that heap. So what I'll do is uh, create a temporary um, initialize a list as our output. We're going to create a temporary list. And while we have our heap, let's pop off whatever is off our heap. Call that a candidate. We'll do a heap pop. And this is going to contain what? The Y value as well as the node value, right? Uh, so all we need to do is actually add the the node value, which is the second item inside of our candidate. Um, and we can just ignore that first item because whatever gets popped off, that should be in order. Now, if it has the same value here, well, we're OK because it's going to pop off the second one that's the least, and that's going to come off first. So once we appended everything, add to our output the temp list. And finally, return our output. Um, oh, OK, so what did I do wrong here? Sorted. All oh, right. Parentheses. OK, so that looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit this. And there we go, accepted. Now, um, time complexity, uh, it's a little complicated. Um, we know that the depth for search is going to be an O of N. And because we do a sort at the sort here, um, that's going to, I suppose, be the length of however, or the width of this binary tree. So that could be, I don't know, uh, let's call it W log W, maybe. And we also have this heap insert. Uh, that makes it also a log. So I think, just gut feeling, this ends up being a n log n um, time complex complexity, as well as using O of n space for our for our lookup. All right, so that's it. Hope that helps. Um, I know there's all sorts of different ways to do this. I did it differently before, so um, hopefully we can continue to creatively think of new ideas and ways to do it. All right, thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.